Hey guys, Yale from Home and Fun. Today we're gonna be having a special review of one product that I actually used in the moment and I think that many of you as my subscribers or other persons that have used this kind of product have come to know if they are reliable or not. Well, today is that video and I'm gonna be telling you with some products that I already use in it. And yes, we're gonna be saying the comparison of which one are better? Are the stainless steel balls beads better than the glass beads? Let's go ahead and find out. By my own understanding and by my, know by my own knowledge, you're gonna be finding this useful in your future. So don't forget, like, subscribe and watch it until the end so you can watch my entire series that I upload on this channel. See you in there. Welcome back guys. So. Today we're gonna be having that review that I told you about and it is about which one are better. Are stainless steel balls beads better than the glass beads or are the glass beads better than the stainless, stainless steel beads? Well, today we're gonna be finding out in the video. So right now, as you can see in front of me, we have two products. They are actually, they are the same from the same brand, Citadel and everything, but these ones are the ones that I use with the with the um, so-called stainless steel bits and well, let me tell you one myth they have they are not 100% stainless they are only covered in a stainless uh, protective uh, like coat they have in those ball in those bits those bits when you actually buy them and you actually pour them in for example uh some kind of um, wash uh that can take out the paint for example um the nail polisher ones or either um some disinfectant uh, for the floor and everything if you put uh, put those bits inside of a bowl of that liquid contained you can actually see that there is a reaction happening inside and that reaction means that those uh, ball, bearing, uh, ball beads they will actually come out rusty pretty quickly because that's what's happening with these stainless steel beads they call stainless itself but they are not stainless as I've been using them in so many of my paints I actually got messed up and a big problem with it because of that now uh, I'm gonna be saying that the truth about that they are 100% stainless that's false stainless steel bits are not 100% stainless in fact they are because they actually just want to sell the cheapest uh, material to the cheapest person from which one uh, from who is starting a hobby let me tell you, if we're gonna be using uh, beads for like mixing pots of paint and everything, I recommend that you should go with glass beads. So why switching from stainless steel beads to glass beads? Because one thing for sure, as you can see here, you will end up with this problem I have right now. This problem is gonna be a big mess. And when you try to like mix it, mix it, mix it, you're gonna have an end of that feeling with your product. And with it, you're gonna be ending with one bad thing that it's going to be a bad uh, color product. And then when you're trying to paint, so instead of using this, switch to glass beads. Glass beads are 100% stainless, and yes, they are 100% a good product. Price could be a little bit pricey, but you will end up with a good result. You don't want to have your paint in a bad material and everything. And that's one thing I actually found out and I was pretty late so right now 90% of my paints are actually having this issue with this one and when I'm mixing they will end up some lines of, of rust over the, the paints and yeah with it I'm gonna be having so much trouble so right now you should be switching from my point of view from if you are using stainless steel you should take those stainless balls if they aren't already inside of the pot for a long time you should take them switch for glass beads and use them glass beads are 100 uh, 
uh, from the primary material that it's glass and they don't have any coat so they can cover and everything and no you will not have any issues when using it for a long period of time if you're trying to use for a long period of time your uh, paints I, I should recommend you that you should change to glass beads if you're not you should be actually using stainless steel to like um, for a long for a short period if you're gonna be using day to day your paints now one thing for true is that you should buy stainless steel because of the price or you should buy glass beads as I said in the beginning and in the middle if you're using for a long time glass beads if you're not stainless steels both products are bad at good in quality and gonna give you good results so with it I'm gonna hope that everyone enjoyed this video informative video that's gonna be good for everyone from whoever is starting from the hobby and whoever is a veteran in the hobby so do not forget don't misunderstand that all all beads are stainless they are false stainless steel or oh, stainless wood beads or blah 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 like this they are lies no stainless stuff is stainless forever they are just covered in a coating of paint that's stainless and when that peels off you will end up with a bad result in your product and you don't want that in your miniature for example and in a miniature with a rusty style no you don't want that you want to look like exactly the same as a product or you want to give it your own style you don't have that style okay that's bad so i hope everyone enjoyed this video and well i will see you in the next one that will be pretty pretty soon bye guys Thank you.